Welcome back guys to the next video. <coughs> In this video, we'll be talking about how to extract historical data and then we'll see how to make uh, this data into candlesticks which can be used uh, to do some technical analysis and then make the entire trading bot. <coughs> now, uh, two types of uh, historical data uh, uh, can be extracted here. The first one is daily data extraction and the second one is the uh, I would say minute by minute candle data extraction um, uh, through Dhan's API, right? So we'll cover both of them one by one. Let's come back to the documentation that we have here. Uh, on the left hand side, just click on historical data and you'll see this one, right? So we have historical Dhan minute charts and uh, if we just scroll down a bit more, Dhan dot intraday daily minute charts and then data, right? So let, let's start Let's start with the first one, which is Dhan dot historical minute charts. I'll copy this. Let's come back here and then uh, let's paste it here, right? It's data. We'll have to see what is the data. Now, this is the entire uh, function. Let me copy this one and replace it with this one. So the entire function with all the different parameters uh, for extraction of historical minute charts, right? Now by saying historical minute, minute charts, this is actually the daily historical data that we are going to extract. So in this case, let's use TCS only. NEC uh, is the exchange, it is equity, right? It's not an option or future, so we don't need to provide any expiry code. So just, just let's just write it zero. From date, um, let's do say, 1st of March to 28th of March. If I run this cell, I again, I uh, got a JSON, right? This is the uh, historical data that we have got on a daily basis. Again, it's very difficult to understand it. So we'll have to uh, make it into a tabular format and into a data frame format, right? Perfect. So let me just uh, provide the, a name to this entire um, JSON or th this entire dictionary that we have created. Let's do it historical. daily data is equal to this one, right? Let me run it again. If I run this one and dot keys, again, I'll have to use data. Uh, yeah, I'll have to use data only here because other two are not important. So this is the data. Perfect. Um, yeah, so I'll have to provide PD dot data frame and then run this particular, it should give me a tabular format or data frame of the entire uh, time range of the historical data that we have got. Now, what we have in front of us, open, high, low, close, volume and start time. Now, this is basically the, da uh, the date, right? It's into timestamp, we'll have to convert it into the actual date format. So yes, for that also we have a function at uh, Dhan API, you just click on the right hand side, Dhan uh, timestamp converter, Dhan dot convert to time, date time and then epoch date. So I'll just copy this one. Let's come back to this one. Let, let me just give a name, say uh, historical DF, right? Now we'll just write a small for loop for I in historical df now we'll have to see what's the column name right it's start time so historical df start time colon let's just say temp is equal to Dhan dot convert to this one and then we'll have to write I. Right, so this will convert into this one, right? Now uh, we'll have to provide um, here uh, one an, an empty list, which is say temp list is an empty list. Temp list dot append. 
them, right? And then in the end, I'll just add this particular column uh, in the data frame in the end. So let's just do date is equal to temp list. And that's it. If I run the historical DF function now, you can see all the dates on the rightmost side. This is something that you can refer. Perfect. So this is how we can ex actually extract the historical data on a daily basis. Now, how to extract uh, the minute by minute data for say, today's data, right? From today, since the beginning of uh, uh, the market time till the time, which is right now, right? Right now it's uh, 120. Uh, so I should be getting the entire data frame or the entire uh, table of all the different types of one minute candle data for this particular stock, which is TCS in this example. So for that, I'll just go to historical data again. Uh, here, I'll just refer to the intraday historical data. Let me just copy this particular function, come back to the Python code, paste it over here, right? Uh, now, here we have to provide security ID and uh, um, uh, exchange segment is NSE again, instrument type is equity, perfect. Let's just run this uh, cell and let's see what is the output. It's again a JSON output. Let me just write uh, intra day DF is equal to this one. It's not DF, intra day is equal to this one. We just copy this, run this one, this, and I just need data here. As we did it earlier, I'll just provide pd.data frame. and then run this particular cell. You should get the entire table of the data on a minute by minute basis. I'll do the same thing for uh, the for getting the, uh, I would say, readable date format in the last column. Let me just co uh, copy this particular thing again and let me just provide it over here. The Variable name for this particular table is intraday DF. I'll have to copy this and replace all the historical DF by this one, right? Let's just paste it and run this particular thing. If I run intraday DF now, I should be getting uh, it on a minute by minute basis. As I mentioned, it's 1.20 in the afternoon right now in India uh, and today is 29th of March. We have got historical minute by minute date, uh, can, uh, candle sticks data in this particular data frame and this is how we can extract the historical prices on a minute by minute basis and on a daily basis. These candles can be used for doing further technical analysis which will be used in uh, a couple of strategies that we'll be making in the next video. In the next video, I will talk about making some basic strategies using this particular data frame. And as I mentioned, this is the candlesticks data that will be um, uh, referred while making all the different tra trading strategies. Uh, in the next video, I'll be also using another library called Talib, which is TA hyphen LIB, Talib library. I'll be, I'll be talking about that in much detail in the next video. And through that, we'll be using some technical indicators to automate the entire trading practice that you do uh, using this particular thing. So yeah, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching this video till the end and I'll, and I'll see you in the next video. Investments in the securities market are subject to market risk. Read all the related documents carefully before investing.